yo it's brick today is going to be a tutorial or just like a show through of my wood uh, storage sorry i am struggling today my wood storage uh, a lot of people my friends have been asking oh you should probably do a video on that it's really cool i love it and this is i want to get through it all so first i have a little drive through sawmill this is how you make it just do whatever works for you also with this do whatever works for you i'm gonna show you why i did it like that if you have an opinion that oh if if it's something you don't like that's cool you can change it in your build it's, it's no biggie but i want to show you why i made it so i had this so i could be real fast with the little drive-through sawmill so you don't have to get out of your car so you'll just have some uh piece of this is just a little test so you'll have some pieces of wood right here and then and this is i use this with the the big truck the most expensive one and then i'll go through here get it all milled like that and then i have it to where the ramp we have to see where my red maple is is it on top so per se if we're driving this i have it to where the wheels lock so you want it a little bit lower and then you want some sides so then it's smooth like this you don't have to worry about anything and with the storage itself i made it to where it's if uh if you park it just right it fits a whole truckload like hopefully the whole truckload drops and you want to have a little centerpiece to where the, all the stuff can fall through well most of it and to get uh the, what's cool about this is make it as far as you want long ways and i made it to where it's two story and how you do that is i actually got these what are they called they're called garage doors and you can get them at illy mine design which is across the bridge and i slanted them so you can make a ramp out of them so you can actually go here and you can go above for a second story storage and um what's really really nice is if you go to how i made them slanted like this i didn't know but per se if you're gonna do it like this if you hit number three or depends on if you're on mobile if you hit this to where you can actually turn if you actually come down here and turn these all the way down you can make it a little bit more exact with the ramp so you want to start out with a ramp i'm not good with making the videos to where i have everything put off to the side and then we build it from scratch on video it take way too long i'm just going to give you the gist of it well i got, i just got a ramp and to test everything you want to test the height of what so your little storages you want to test the height of them and you want to test if the car can drive up it like because sometimes you can make these too steep and then your car is going to get stuck so you want to make a good angle of see what your car can go through and if it gets stuck i'll show you the second story how we do that real quick and we'll drop this little maple off and show you how it works so i'll have to back up a little bit okay it gets a little crazy sometimes but you can always fix it so oh, red maple might be on the other side got red cactus i got the purple so it's not actually down where is my red maple so let's look through i have every wood in the game so far red wood red maple is right here so this is not red maple how am i tripping it's pink right yeah so i know my my friend jrm he actually made his he made one of these two after i made it and he wanted to he made them smaller for his base it just depends on what your play style is i wanted to have a lot of the wood at a time so you go like right here and then you go over here you have my infusion coil Zoom. And then you despawn it like that, and then all of it will fall through and go in the little storages. And so I also did it to where you can, if you want the wood, you can grab it, and you can throw it outside. And then depending on what you want, if you go over there, you can throw it out. I also did it to the, uh, the second story, you can throw the wood out, you know, go on to the little conveyor. You come over here and then it can all collect come up here and i have the option of if you're wanting it 
to go inside of your truck. So let me actually set that up real quick. Usually I would have, I had to move a lot of stuff. So usually I'd put my truck right here and send so it can drop in the back of the truck. Or I made it to where we can move this. Oh, I will let that go. I don't move it like that, but I'll move it like this right here. Or it can go into a crate. And I actually have this cool, took me a long time to make, but I actually made this, uh, what's it called? I, I have my own name for it. It's a crate stacker. So I have it to where it fits up here, it comes up here, and it stacks these crates. And I'll move this piece of wood and move it back. If I want a crate to come right here, I have to put it like this or whatever, but, and then I can fill up crates and I, I was gonna, on this side, I have my little trailer to where I could stack those crates on. And then I could pick up and go. And uh, I wonder if there's any more to this. I, I, I won't show you guys how to make this. This was hard. This is really, you have to, like you can look at it on screen and see how I did it. I have these pushing in. So you want to hit the corners. Uh, you want the back one, you want those going down. And then the top one you want going this way too. So if you just look at all the arrows, if you want to recreate this, a crate stacker. We really need to find something that's going to... I think I need to use a garage door right here instead of this little piece of wood. So I can hit the garage door hit it again. Because it really wants to get glitched inside this piece of wood. I wouldn't recommend doing this. But I actually get a garage door right here. And then so you can lift up the garage door, uh, crate comes out, and then close the garage door real quick. Because it'll, it'll start zooming out, like these crates will just start going. And I'll try to show right now, it might be a little buggy. You know, because it's, it's still a little work. Okay, so per se, if I put the crate over there, just cause. Um, let's actually grab a... Oh, also... Um, I don't have any garage doors on me. That's why I have this right here. But yeah, I'll do that later. I'm get I'm getting sidetracked, but I want to show you the rest of my storage. Uh, um, let me grab an elevator. Where was my elevator I used recently? Uh, I think I put it back. Yeah, I put it back. Hold on. Let me grab this elevator because I have to fix this real quick. Oh, it's gone. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put the elevator? We might have a problem here. Mm. Okay. So. Oh, it's right here. I was trying to make an intro for my channel and it didn't work. Also, if you guys know anyone that makes intros, hit me up because I'm trying to not do it myself if I don't have to, because I'm not a good intro maker. I know, surprise, shocker, right? You guys probably see my little cheap, this is my intro. Sorry, you had to see that. <laughs> yeah, but that's why I need help. Okay, so I forgot because there was a time where uh, there was some glitch where it got rid of all the elevators. So I had to redo that. We'll make this fast. Increase speed. Increase speed is G. Okay, so how this works also which I need to add more. There's more storage, but I need to make room. The, the developers keep adding all these different woods, all these stones, all these. Look how much stuff is in the game. It's it's so much. It's so much. Like, I love it, but it's so much, and I just don't have room. I'm going to have to start stacking this on top of this or something, or I even made these storages very small. But how what this is intended is to where, per se, I need a lot of... We'll just do it for the video. Per se, I need a lot of copper. So what I'll do is I'll do this. And I would hit this little button over here. 
right? Get a bunch of copper out of there. Put that back. Copper will go in here. Get all stocked up, right? And then I can come to this side. Toggle elevator. It won't work for some reason. Oh, I gotta hit it twice sometimes. It's ridiculous. And then it'll come up here. It'll brush against that conveyor on top of the ceiling, which will push it out. And it'll either go in a crate or it can go in the back of the truck. Doesn't matter. I got. I can always put a little conveyor right there so it goes in the back of the truck. So that that is, I think that's all really with my base. I can show you guys real quick. I don't want to make it a super long video, but I wanted to show you guys this because I'm really proud of all this stuff. I made, so this is with that idea I had right here with these. I did it with the my wood SAR and then also my forge and refinery for my rocks and ores. I combined them together to be more compact so if you want to put more stuff on your base this was the only way I could I was like how can I compact this and so I just made it a double story so you have on the bottom you have your wood and then on top you have your for the ores and the stones and they can all go at the same spot like sometimes I'll mess with this so this will go in the normal truck if I got a bunch of ore I'll have it go there and then the wood will go in the trailer on this side so see how the wood will go in this trailer and then the ore I'll have just be put in the normal truck so I like this because it's, it's very nice and compact get a good little glimpse of that get a good thumbnail with my storages I'll have to do like multiple screenshots for this because I love this so much. Maybe like right there. Yeah. Okay, and then also have this for whenever I'm going to get ores themselves and I don't wanna, if it's just a bunch of ore and I wanna, I have the same thing over here where you drive this up. This is going this way just in case any goes right there. And then that will all poop out right here and then I can gather all my this is only for the ore that I want to store or the stone ore, all that so that'll pop out here so I love my base so much if you guys like it you know hit that like hit the thumbs up subscribe get notified if you want more videos like this or more in-depth tutorial it's gonna be a hard ask but maybe if I get like 50 likes which is unreasonable <laughs> but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video Peace out. If you're not subscribed, subscribe.